Larry. Slate. Uh, New Rory Mar, uh Patreon episode uh, 680. In China, you can dress up as a monkey and be fed. Yeah, so <laughs> what the nah, fuck is hilarious. that? Wait till you see it. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> what is going on? I feel like the, the yeah. I don't think the world is a simulation. Seriously, yeah. I don't think like there's somebody with a joystick above all of us controlling us. Like yeah, the aliens. Yeah, some people say God, but you know. I would say the Jew. There's no way this world is real. There's no way. Like this is not a real experience we're having. It's just um another dimension of another dimension of another dimension of a thought of another dimension. <sighs> Mm. And then he it's kind of like when you look at yourself in the mirror and some mirror behind you and you can see yeah. yourself and yourself behind you. This is again. just one layer of a, a bigger thought. Ah, got Much you. bigger thought. That's why we, we really don't matter that much. We don't? Like as much as I'd love to say that Dre is pregnant. Oh, hey, Patreon. Welcome back. We're here. Apologies for the last episode. Things got off the rails. Why are you apologizing? Yeah, y'all showed y'all ass when I walked out the door. That's why we showed our ass because you walked out the door. Mm. We did go kind of crazy when she left. Even though I was like at one point calling socialism communism which i think they are the same <laughs> but it's fine uh, my yeah. point my point still yeah, sure. stood in what i was trying to say yeah. um but i know i was wrong in that that way i just feel socialism has a lot of anyways doesn't matter nope. it went off the fucking rails i know some people loved it i know some people hated they it they hated you but all. but welcome they, hate, they hated me hell yeah they hated on jesus though. yes you gotta think about that. They, there you go that's why you my that's why you my dog <laughs> <They hated laughs> i love all. when people hate me i love that shit Mises. You got to remember what they did to Jesus. Yeah. Anytime mm -hmm. somebody hates. And since I'm made in the image and likeness of Christ himself, mm -hmm. white Jesus, that means that. that I'm right on yeah. par. There you go. Sure. You know what yeah. I'm saying? There you go. a long episode. You know me? Yeah. You know. You were born in Israel? No, I was born in Beth Israel. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. That was actually great. Um, I actually don't know what hospital I was born in. I forgot. Yeah. What? They Look at your birth certificate. They probably tore it down. <laughs> Damn, that I gotta ask my mom in the, in, the in the back of that horse and buggy. Born in a fucking manger. <laughs> Damn, I forgot what hospital I was born in. That's crazy. <laughs> Some straw grass. You went such in our truth. Damn, back in the how, yard. Did I, how did I arrive? It was, how did uh, I arrive? <laughs> <laughs> where did I arrive? Uh, What's uh, where do they keep horses? What's that thing called? A in a stable. stable? Yeah, it was stable. An, it was an empty stable. Yeah, your mother knocked on the door. I don't know, they call them that too. Yeah. yeah, I gotta I gotta call my mom. She's gonna like want to hang up on me because I asked her that probably every like five years. Yeah, because you start with the which bitches that want to do your birth chart. Oh no, my mom don't even answer that no more. She be like, your yo, birth stop talking to her. She'll text me back, stop talking to that girl. Is your birth certificate <laughs> etched in stone? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I think it's like a slab of concrete somewhere yeah. in my mom's Here, closet. You gotta throw some water on it. Yeah, yeah, to Wake see it. it <laughs> to see it. Like, yeah. Social security number is only four digits. That's that's crazy. If your social security <laughs> number is four digits, you're dead. Do you guys God. remember that? Um what was that theory that White people had like even numbers at the end of their social security no, two, number. Two numbers in the middle are always when you add them up, it's even if you're black and it's odd if you're not, if you're white. I'm sure there's some uh, mathematical science to it where there's there to keep track of people. In mine's, regard. well, you said the two middle numbers. Yeah. If they add up. If they're an even number when you add them up, you're black. If they're not, that means you're. Damn, I'm black then. Eh, Mine is. Uh, mine's eight. If you add mine up. Mine's eight. six. Yours is six? Yeah. So oh, there goes that theory. I'm as targets. white as they come, 23 of me told me. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't even get that one like South African percent. Um, anyways, <laughs> off mic, they were trying oh, wait, to explain. No. Is, it, is it that or is it an even number? I think it's bullshit is what. what <laughs> <laughs> I think the theory makes absolutely no sense. All right, what's your middle numbers? All right, man. No, tell me the rest. Just your middle numbers of your social security? You can't say just the middle numbers? It's like- It adds up to six and- it's All right, but is it like, if it's like 51, then there might be some It's six that. and zero. Oh, so that's an even number. Okay. Yeah, I said it added up to six. Uh -huh. And is zero an even number? Yeah. Well, 60 is an even number. There you go. Yeah. Um, well, they were trying to explain to us off mic. Julian, what the fuck? Yeah, what are you doing over here? This thing is, it's annoying me, and I noticed in the last episode. I wanted... We had pre-production right for this. <laughs> right now while we're recording. It was just necessary. Thank you. I'll look at it for an hour. Hmm. Is he okay? I don't know. Sorry. Drugs. It looks, it looks a lot cleaner. I think he might be back off the wagon. Yeah. You had a little blow night? No. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> he said stop. That's a yes. Yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> guys, guys, stop. <laughs> How, how'd you know? How'd you know? Yeah. Can you see it in my eyes? All right, go ahead. And we're back. Don't edit any of that. Keep everything so people know what we have to deal with when we don't. 
This is a behind the scenes look, Patreon exclusive. Yo, so I was watching Society of the Snow again last night. <laughs> Why are you keep it's a good transition? In he, that did, movie. he did coke last night. No, but I was, I was, I, you know, sometimes you like y'all don't have like your your thing that you watch when you want to kind of like fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like your go-to kind of movies or shows. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So Society of the Snow is kind of like. Are you shooting? I thought we moved out the hood. Shots. Yeah. Listen, it was so Society good. of the Snow has become like the movie that I like to watch. If like, you know, once I shower, lay down, I'm like, let me put something on and go to sleep. So I was watching it last night and I was like, I'm going to pose the question to the guys like, and Damaris, would y'all eat each other if we were in like a tragic accident and we had to survive? Like, would y'all eat one of us? Yeah. I would put an apple in your mouth and roast you so quick. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah. I, mean, I was expecting y'all to have to. I don't think I could do that. Well, you're vegan, so you're fucked. Even if I, even if I wasn't though, that's like, I don't for you to die on impact. I, I don't think that I could. I don't think that I could eat a human because I think that if I do that for survival, right? I understand they, it was even a crazy situation. They had to survive, and then they played it like they didn't let you know who they were cutting, so you didn't know exactly which one of your friends you were eating. Mm -hmm. But I felt like if we make it through that... With your hip to thigh ratio, I think I would know I was eating more. Yeah. And if we were eating Roy, it'd be the only white skin, so... Well, I'm sure they'd cook it, no? They've made a fire? No. Someone would have to cook it. So they're eating raw human flesh? I don't think I could do that. Not because I care about you guys. Just I don't want to eat it was raw cute. human it was, flesh. It was, it was kind of like frozen, so it was like a little raw hide type of thing. Oh, okay. Kinda, you know, oh, then maybe that could oh, do it was that. Oh, like you were like jerky? It's like jerky. Oh, then yeah, maybe I could do that. But then you'd have to like really eat your friends. You'd have to savor your I don't friends know if I in could your do mouth. That. Like, I, I think I would just be like, yo, listen, if this is what God wanted shoot. me, if this is how God wanted me to go, I'm going to just go. Like, I don't think I could, because if you make it through that, like, and I saw the interview with the guy that made it through that, I feel like what he went through, he's, you can no longer feel like a human because that's some inhumane shit to eat a human body. Like, that's some inhumane shit. So, like, you did it for survival. Cool. But it's like now that you made it through that, mentally, you're never, like, you're you're never anything you eat after that. Now you're kind of looking at it like shit. Don't hit the same. It's not. The, it's like <laughs> it's like the end of Castaway. <laughs> but what if it hits when he gets like a lighter? Remember that the end of Castaway? He had a lighter. Oh, when he lays on the floor. He's yeah. doing all the things that are like the oh that he was used to custom to do. He was sleeping on the floor. Yeah, like and that. There, he has a restaurant. They light the candle. He's like, that's how easy it is to make fire. What the fuck? Like but, he forgot all of the. We don't think there was a, a cannibalism time. I mean, I know it's not in the Bible, so we can't trust it, but I feel like at some point during Earth, humans were eating humans. I don't know. That may be a human I mean, there's, there's people that do that now that they're just fucking crazy. But I'm saying like just a regular human nature. Of course, there's people that take bath salts and chew on people on Collins Avenue. Yeah. I'm talking about just a regular human trait. I mean, we eat the flesh of animals, no problem. That's a, that's a go-to thing. Mm -hmm. You don't think we could have evolved from eating each other? I think we could tap into some of our ancestors. But I, I'm eating humans if I need to survive. But li well, because surviving is the first step of human nature, you're always going to want it. Like you're surviving is first. <clears throat> Fuck how you feel about your friends, the chickens. Like you have to survive. There's no way if we're in an accident and bodies are scattered, God forbid, that I'm going to look at my friend and be like, yo, it's been 40 days since I ate. Like, well, you've never been there and you've never been that hungry. I'm just I, saying, I, I know. If you I did just off, like the it. third day and started talking about eating humans, then I think like you've had this thought already. Yeah. 40 yeah, days into dead, watching you, looking at your dead friend's body for 40 days and you like, I'm going to have to cut that shit up and eat it. Like, it depends. Nah, you bro. Didn't, first of all, you'd eat something. You wouldn't wait 40 days. A decision would be made well before. People that. go into jail not wanting to fuck guys, but give it some time. Yeah. A whole zone. No, they, those like, those guys were always gay. They just like. You think so? Absolutely. That's, I don't. This is not that. enough jail time. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. <clears throat> There's not enough prison time in the world that I would ever fuck a man. Are you sick? A life sentence. You're going to fuck something. You think I'm going to fuck a man if I get a life <laughs> sentence? Who you think you're talking to? Are you crazy? You never done a life sentence. Neither I'm never life, fucking but. a man. I don't give a fuck what this sentence is. I will, I will kill myself before I fuck a man. Are you crazy? But I, I feel like by the time you would start to have those thoughts with your age, you'd kind of not be into sex in general. So you might be safe. But I think like a 20 year old that got a life sentence. <laughs> wow. No, what? Damn. You said Ma won't have a sex. Yeah. Metapods would have passed. I don't know how he would have felt. <laughs> now you're calling him a woman. Oh, oh, men don't like get that. menopause? He said you five years away from ED, so a life sentence ain't I didn't need ED, but tell don't you get to a certain up. age where you stop caring about sex nah, to the same mom, degree? No. You're just not as horny? No. Yeah, tell this him. age right here. 
Me. No, Maul, tell so, them you blow out a I don't care about it. So I'm saying 20 years in, you'd probably, if you were completely straight, I would imagine maybe a thought could come across. Damn, if you if fucking, a 20 year old, they'd still be 40 by the bro, time. I know niggas that done did 20 years in prison. And let me tell you something they have never thought about was fucking another man. Well, they're you just don't proof. know yeah, what they thought right. about because you're you not inside no their head. That. Well, that's okay. If you're going to put it like that, yes, but they never fucked another man. It's not, that's not yeah, something okay. you like, damn, I got two fucking, I'm going to just give me some man ass from that. Like, that's not something <laughs> you do. I mean, if the toilet if wine you have is that hitting thought, that night. If you I have know. that thought, you've always, you had that thought as a free man. That's not true. Well, he was roaming on 25th Street in Lexington Avenue. I've never thought about, thought about eating a human, but I think there could be a world 40 days into trying to survive and there's a dead human there and no food that I might eat a human. No way. And I think it's probably the same thing with some head and Rikers. I'm going to eat snow and drink water until I fucking just die from lack of protein, I guess. But that's your diet now, so it's a little different. I yeah. eat chicken. It's I eat enough. protein now. What are you talking Fry about? Fry up one of my thighs and down. go to fucking work. I'm be chewing on that shit like I'm at a county fair. Damn, I mean, that would last us for a while. Too. I look at y'all totally We'd different eat good now that y'all say mom. that. Yeah. We that's crazy. Enough, mom. That's crazy that y'all could just y'all, y'all could just say that y'all would do that. The rescue team would probably get in there too. I'd be like a good appetizer. Mm. Yeah, that would be a good, nice app. I'm like, I'd be like mozzarella sticks. No, you'd be like dessert. You'd be like a carrot cake. Mm. Like tonight we're having carrot cake. <laughs> and it's you, would, you would sprinkle my hair like uh, salami. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, yo. <laughs> Just sprinkle it over. Like, like, why y'all trying to trick me? There ain't nobody with Rory right there on that plate, man. I'm not eating that shit. Uh, well, while you guys were asking about the cannibalism, there are, I found this from one quick Google search, so you know it's accurate. There were groups uh, about 15,000 years ago that would eat... Um, if once people passed, their tradition was to not bury or cremate them, they would eat them. So it was more of a religious act than anything. Okay. How long ago was this? 15,000 years. The outlaws ago. said they smoked. Yeah, those are fucking uh, Neanderthals. Yeah. No, but there's some people like, um, I know people who eat their placenta after they give birth. Like they'll eat yeah, their Yeah, those own. are called, uh, called mental illness. That's not, me- oh, Jesus fucking Christ. It's actually it's more common than you think it is. It's pretty it's common. Mental, it's a mental illness. It's not mental illness. Mental illness is common. Well, the placenta is like one of the most healthiest, nu- nutritious things that exists. Yeah. It so, makes it. So, and it's my own. I'm not eating other people's placenta. What, what, what witch told you that that was like? It's not a witch. Day? Yeah. I will, I'm going to put, put it right in something just I'm like that. I'm going to encapsulate it. Fuck. When no. you do your ju- juice cleanse, you could just get nah, a few placentas. Mm, I saw a girl hunger. on TikTok fry hers like a pork chop though. <laughs> Like the whole side. What are we have the, a live studio audience. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why would you do that? I would just repeat what you're saying. So your friend. So Mel, a mom of Mel. Yes. So what the live studio audience said was <laughs> her friend took the placenta and put it, broke it up into pill forms and continued to Take it as a pill. What was the boxer's name that drank his own piss when he was working out? <laughs> oh. Comparing those two is... Uh, why not? He said it was the nutrients. Like he was you would have to Piss doesn't have nutrients. Now, see, that I couldn't do. Uh, that would be what I couldn't do if we got straight. So you can't drink piss? No. But you can eat a human body? Yes. Get the fuck out of here. Well, a lot of Aztec cultures drank pee. Remember Marquez? Same okay, thing. so Marquez, the nutrients Marquez drank his own piss, saying that he kind of replenishes the nutrients that he had pissed out. So he's putting the, the nutrients back in his body. He said it helped him when he was training. He still got his ass beat that night. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, so I feel like all this nutrients piss and losing. <laughs> that's what I'm the saying. Like, it's like with the placenta thing, I get it if there is nutritional value, but there's also a thousand supplements that subsidize that's all I'm the loss of nutrition. That's just all take I'm saying. Zinc, Give me a smoothie. Like vitamin B or fish oil. Yeah, some like, vitamins. There's a I'm reason cool. why the, all this shit's over the counter. Just yeah. go to the drugstore. Yeah, give can me you, a smoothie with some peanut butter and I'm good. Can you pull up, uh, it was a video that was viral this past week about the number one animals that humans consumed last year. Oh, oh I yeah. saw that. <laughs> can you pull that up? Because that was, threw me off a little bit. Yeah, there was some Chicken animals. being number one was obvious, but everything after that was kind of crazy to me. Yeah. Turtles, 50K. Crocodiles, 83K. Buffalo, 100K. Sea urchins, 400K. Camel, 800. Horses, 5 million. Wait, 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 wait. People are eating 5 million horses? Yeah. That's how many were consumed last year. Yeah, per year. 5 million horses were consumed last year? 10 million cats. Who was eating horse? 10 10 million cats. 12 million. uh, Tilapia. Got you, bro. It went too fast. And the camera was in the way. 15 million snails. 25 million dogs. 
That doesn't surprise 60 me. 60 million pigeons. That's all the Chinese food. I don't believe this. Um, what type of pig is that? Oh, that's guinea a guinea pig. Pigs. 70 million guinea pigs. This, this is not even this not even a hundred million sharks. sharks. There are not a hundred million sharks out here, bro. Well, each shark maybe. That's what I'm like, saying. These numbers, I'm not rolling. Yeah, yeah. What are, we, are we talking about consumed weight or like consumed per animal? They're saying a this says million three hundred million animal. consumed per year. Three hundred million what cows? But there's more than one steak in a cow. That's what I'm getting at. So That's maybe what I'm there was three hundred million. So three hundred million cows were slaughtered. Five hundred million lamb. Five hundred million lobster. 656 million turkey, 750 salmon. That's me. 900 million tuna. That's fair. 1.2 billion rabbits. I didn't know rabbit was going crazy like that. 1.5 billion pig. 2 billion octopuses. <laughs> that's me. 2 billion oysters. That's at one girl in Atlanta. <laughs> 2.1 billion geese. 3 billion ducks. 3 billion shrimp. That makes sense. Oh, no. Okay. 14 billion sardines. Who are you? Well, people? sardines are little, so... 70. 75 billion chickens. That makes sense. But 205 million a day for chickens. Like how many Caesar salads are you guys ordering? Who eats sardines like that? Eh, that's that's fucking, just off the that's rip insane. to be no, like to be number two. That's insane. I understand to be eating a, that uh, many fucking animals a year. That's insane. Who's eating the guinea pigs is what I was trying to figure out. I didn't even know there was 70 million guinea pigs to eat. I think I think this is fudged. I've had crocodile. I've had crocodile too. It, it tastes just like Chicken, go ahead. I've had crocodile. I've had um, I've had buffalo. You've eaten a buffalo before? Yeah. I've had horse. Well, I just went to Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm talking about like knowing. Uh, like I'm sure yeah. I've had everything on this list. Unknowingly. I've eaten cat. If you ordered from the Chinese spot, you've eaten yeah, There's cat. no way I haven't had cat, cat, cat at this point. Yeah. yeah. Snail. Never had snail. Cargo. You never had cargo? I've ever had a dog. You've had dog. You've had dog. You've ordered this beef spare rib tips at a Chinese Same restaurant. As of, like <laughs> the things we know. Oh, okay, okay. Willingly, no. Shark, shark I've no. had once. Uh, Which shark fin cool. soup, not for me. Not cow like yesterday. Lamb. Y'all know I'll fuck a lamb up. They don't have regularly. frogs up there. Mm. Frog legs is a real thing. Like no, yeah, you're right. Lobsters, great. Turkey, obviously. Salmon. This is my spread right here. <laughs> lamb, lobster, turkey, salmon, and tuna. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's mm, that makes sense. That's a good run. I had a rabbit. I could never eat a rabbit. Rabbits, no. But you could eat. All right, <clears throat> Juju. You said what? You could eat mall, but a rabbit is where you draw the line. Yeah, I'd feel it. Like that's yeah. crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. All right, enough about uh, consuming meat. We're gonna Yo. make mall uncomfortable, and we said we would consume him. Pause. Um, off mic, <laughs> we were trying to talk about Drea. I feel like I was trying to start the episode. Y'all sitting next to y'all op at a basketball game? <laughs> no, I don't have ops. That's cap. Who's my op? Come on. If Maul had an op, he would get him shot. Who's my this op? This gangster shit ops. don't stop. I have ops. I don't have You're ops. better than that. I know. I know. I was. It was. I was off the cuff. You know. I'm a little shaky. Yeah, that was terrible. Actually, I was really bad. Yeah, Fourteen year old have... you in in the bedroom would be upset at that bar. See why are you bring up old shit? Because you my rap that was lyrical delete. venom. You can't delete it. I could delete my rapperness. You can't even get into the channel. Yeah, it's there forever. It's on YouTube. <laughs> And we screen recorded it, so yeah, it's there forever. Yeah, but no, I'm not. I don't. Well, if I had ops, I probably wouldn't sit next to him at the basketball game. Though. Even if you were getting paid a bag to be there, yeah, I'd be like, no, he got to, he got to, y'all got to move him. Or oh, it's gonna be another game going on right now. This isn't even a, okay. Well, do, <laughs> Hunger Games. Yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> for that. It's, it's gonna be another something else happening on the sideline. Is Chris Brown really not fuck with Quavo? Yes, yes, he well, literally he. Where does this stem from again? Because Quavo. Uh, Talk to Karuchi 15 years later. No, y'all don't remember that. <laughs> y'all don't remember that viral meme of Chris Brown standing there when Karuchi was trying to get in the car with that red jacket he had on. It was like a viral meme. Yeah. That was... That I was, thought that was some Victor Cruz shit. No. Yeah, they was... She was it Victor, Victor Cruz? That was before Migos, I think, was around. I could be no, wrong. No, Migos was around, but that... It, that was, she was dating... She was with dating Victor. At that she point. was dating Victor. You're right. I fucked the up. The Quavo thing was sort of recently. But Chris Brown literally said, can't pick who you sit by. Fuck all that growth shit. Nigga not finna fumble my bag for little niggas. Yeah, I don't... I just Unnecessary. Don't. Just just be quiet. God, they look very uncomfortable next to each other. But also, what event is it? And like, what are you getting It's a fashion. For? It's the fashion sit. show. It's a fashion uh, week show in uh, Paris. Paris. Well, to me, that's not on Chris. That's bad management to me. Yeah. <clears throat> your PR, the PR. Who's ever your day to day that's coming with you that day? I don't even care if it's your security guard. 
who is he sitting next to should be the first fucking question, even if you have beef or not. That's yeah, number who am I next to? That's what I'm saying. Like you could literally, you could easily be like, yo, like I'm not like he can't sit next to like who else is because your PR person, who else is invited? Yeah. Who else is sitting front row? Well, he can't sit next to this person. This person is there. Like that's a that's a simple ask for somebody like Chris Murray. I have a home girl that's in PR. Shout out Naya. And um, she was saying she was like, when you do PR, she's in fashion PR. When you do fashion PR, you're supposed to know who's beefing with who. Like when it comes to pop culture, you're supposed to know these yeah. things when you're creating this seat and chart. And that's a huge like fumble. Like you can get fired for some shit like that. And if you're putting on an event, you should know who you're in. Like fuck yeah. the PR people, the, per the people doing the event. Who am I inviting? Who's on the guest list? We need to keep them separated. Yeah, if I yeah, but that's that's what I'm saying. That's the the um the fashion companies. Their PR person is in charge of doing that. If so, I'm the person running the show, I would want to put them next to each other for a moment like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I get that. Okay, I don't. We don't know what show this even is though. But I'm. It didn't but work. The point. It would take one if proper Google search to figure out the show when it happened and all that. That, like if, if, if for Damaris's point, her friend who does this for she does on behalf of the artist or celebrity. She does it for the fashion houses. Okay, well I guess see if but I'm even doing all it for the fashion houses, I want anything. to make these moments. If I'm doing it for, on behalf of my artist, the client, I'd be like, then I would be like, all right, who is the POC? Nah. The, her friend would be the contact. I'll say, hey, if they're both there, separate them. The fashion world, her friend, I'm putting the fashion world's a little different. They're thing. not messy like that. They're not. Yeah. Oh. Well, Look at them. But There's then even look at look at all the headlines. How do we know? It's not like at fucking Gucci event. Yeah. Chris no Brown <laughs> and Quavo. It just says a, a IG post from it Chris says, Brown. It says and Chris Brown still and doesn't like Quavo. Matter of fact, I didn't know it was a fashion event. I thought that was a basketball game. Me too. Saw. You fuck up the relationship with the artist when you do that. And the fashion world, anytime they're doing a runway event yeah, for new shit, you think they want people to fight? This is the Rude Rude's uh, men's fall winter. Shout out to Rude. Shout out to Rude. There you Love go. Them. Rude's pretty funny. Rude. It's Rude, rude well, them to... There's enough people involved with Rude. They knew what they were doing. Everybody should have known. They know yeah. what they're doing. It's smart. But they're also not a brand that's going to want That's not it. smart, bro. It's not. Because now, if Chris decided to punch him in his face or Quavo decided to punch Chris happened. in his face... But there's a high chance... Of course it could. didn't if happen. Chris I'm saying, if it did chance. happen, the fucking event is all fucked up now. <clears throat> and because y'all want to play games to sit these two next to each other knowing that they have a little, you know what I mean, tension between them. Rude is a very reputable company that would not just do some shit to cause fucking chaos. Yeah, I think people just genuinely forgot. <clears throat> yeah, people probably forgot. That shit was yeah. so long ago. It's like, yeah, nobody, people forget about what happened last week. Like, come on, a couple years ago this happened? Like, no. And I mean, I don't want to shit on Chris because that ends up being a theme. And I like Chris Brown, but was this not corny? Like, why are you even mentioning it? To save face, your ego? Because everyone saw you sitting next to Quavo and nothing happened? Well, now, people, now you got to go explain yourself. Yeah. I guess people was adding on the internet asking if they was cool, if they squash shit, whatever, whatever. Like, you know, so he that was his way of responding to that. Like, he couldn't he couldn't pick who he sat by or where he sat. So when when have y'all ever all right, known then leave Chris it Brown not to respond? He responds to everything. And I, I hate being Monday morning quarterback and I'm not in these positions. So who am I to fucking judge? But can't put can't pick who you sit by. Period. That's that's a response, right? Oh, yeah. That could <laughs> that could that could have easily been it. Can't pick who you sit by. Yeah, but I mean it's Chris. He he gonna go there. He gonna take. He gonna let it be known. He taking shit. I kind of respect that too. You letting it be known what it is. Like I don't fuck with him. Like, but I can't pick who I sit by. But I, it ain't no growth. Like that's what that. Mal, that's what Mal would have uh, tweeted with mad laughing emojis. You love the laughing emojis. Me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever you being shady <laughs> on Twitter. Or I I read something that was fucking hilarious. That happens too. Well, what would you do in that sitting in that? Situation. Let's say you get to the seat first and they don't put the name next to it. Everyone in the room. Are you just going to continue? I'm staying for the rude fashion show. Are That's, you? Yes. Because, and Damaris and I have had these conversations off mic before too. Because people will be at events or I may run into people, those people, especially quote unquote ops or people I don't like, are not going to stop me or dictate my life on mm -hmm. where and when I'm going to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Ain't no fucking way. You're moving my life around when it's something I wanted to go to and be at and have fun. I belong here. These are my friends. This is a fashion show I wanted to see. This dude is going to make me stay home. Now I actually feel pussy. <laughs> yeah. 
That's never happening. It's not. A I'm black. sitting and watching that fucking show. Um, if that person sits there, guess I'm going to do the same thing I would do the entire time. Watch this fucking fashion show. It depends on the level of, like, because there's there are some people where it's like, oh, no, I don't give a fuck if I see you at Jesus' second baby shower. I'm acting a fool on your ass. So there were people like that, then it's a situation where it's like, it depends I'm on how going deep to the beef ruin is. Yeah, the yeah. event. It I'm depends going on, to ruin the event if I, if I see it. It depends on if it's real beef. <laughs> exactly. Like if it's real beef and I'm sitting there, I'm Chris Brown, I'm flexing so, uh, social status. Yo, y'all gotta move him. Because that's Chris Brown. If Chris Brown say y'all gotta move somebody, guess what? They moving that person. You think if they told him they have to move Quavo, they'd move Quavo? 100%. That's Chris Brown, nigga. Over Quavo? Quavo got to move down. That's just how it's going. That's Chris Brown, my nigga. Like we not, we not going to play this game again. At the That's Chris Brown. At the Rude event, though, and Rude being probably one of the biggest brands within the culture. Younger. I think they kind of have the same social status. Yeah. Get the yeah. fuck out of yeah. here. Yeah. I know. I'm, no, no, no. Listen, not, listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm going to make you feel better. Let me finish. Not doing if it was at a bigger, some like Anna Winter shit, I'm not trying to discredit Rude at all, but I'm saying one of those like more pretentious fucking Paris shows. If it was Gucci or something like that. Chris Brown would get yeah, president. I, don't give I, a fuck I think who so. Who show it is? That's Chris Brown, my nigga. What are we talking about? What are we talking about here? Julian, you an internet guy. Can you pull up Chris Brown's Instagram and pull up Quavo's Instagram? But please? it's not a matter of that. It's not a matter of what, that. This is a social event. It is a matter of that. What the fuck are you talking what about? What if Chris, what I'm saying, they, they, they each probably know the owner. They probably just have a relationship. Of course they with do, the but I'm, ask, I'm talking about for, from the social optics. Having Chris Brown sit front row at your show over Quavo. It's not, what, what are we talking about here? Uh, 145 million followers versus 24. Followers ain't everything. Nah, oh, no. There's niggas with more followers than you that wouldn't get invited to the events oh, you get invited to. All right. Is Chris Brown a bigger name than Quavo? Is he a bigger star than Quavo? In yeah, the that's world? obvious. Yeah. That's all right. Not, so what are we talking about? But that's not. What, what's that's not what? That's, this is a social event. Okay. This is a social event. Mall. This is a fashion show. Okay. Okay. What are Mall. we talking about? I hates when people disrespect Chris. And it's I, not I even about this. It, it's some shit is just not even debatable. This is Chris Brown and Quavo. Not okay. disrespecting Quavo. Chris Brown is a way big. He's a fucking megastar. Uh, and I'm saying rude is the, the it, culture. It, so sometimes your status and how big you are to the rest of the world does not matter. If you want to look a because little Because rude is the surface. culture. If you want to look a little deeper under the surface, Quavo gets far more engagement on his post than Chris, who has uh, like 10x more following. Because the people who have been following Chris Brown have been following him. They Their old pages from 2000 to fucking 10 are still following Chris Brown. Like, it's not... People have been following Chris Brown since the inception of Instagram. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Like, that's the same thing where, let's say, Lil' Kim is a bigger... Lil' Kim is a bigger star than Ice Spice. Do you, do you want to say that? Lil' Kim is a bigger star to Ice Spice? You want to get for that? Today? Today. Just, just period. Oh, yeah. Period. Yeah. Okay. Today, Lil Ice Spice is probably more, is, is hotter than Lil' Kim. Yeah. Okay. But that's a that's also another point, too. Like, yeah, that's a point. Qua Quavo right now, name-wise, is quote-unquote hotter. I'm not saying bigger. Hotter. To people and, younger than yeah. us. To the, to the people who have that's, that's the culture, fine, people younger than us. Chris Mafia. Brown's been in this yes. shit for 20 years. A vet. Like, yeah. Quavo's so, hotter right now than Chris. He is? Yeah. Yes. Based and off that's of not what? a bad thing to say. That happens with every artist ever in music. Based off of what, though? What is Quavo hotter for if right now? If you were to go to name, name. name and face, rec name and face <laughs> recognition the fuck with, are with the younger about? demographic, <clears throat> Quavo and the Migos are bigger than Chris Brown when it comes to a name and <laughs> name recognition difference. <laughs> what? With younger chill mall. It's man, like you can't. That's that. about selling hard oh, tickets. Not, I don't want to hear just, that. Like shit, just man. based off that. impressions. Yes. I don't want to hear that though. That's that's insane for y'all to say that. Quavo walks into a fashion show and Chris Brown walks into a fashion show. Chris Brown is, is the biggest star in any room. We, we, what are we talking about? In any room, Chris Brown is the biggest star in Quavo. In any room. Fashion, music, fucking. Not at a sweet 16. Now nah, she's talking about a sweet 16. But no, but that's what's so important. Matters. You think Chris yeah. Brown is not a bigger star than Girl Sweet 16 in Quavo right now? Chris Brown. No. No. I don't know. What the fuck are y'all talking that's about? Little boy Sweet 16. No. The same the same. Now it's a little boy same, Sweet 16. We same thing. Uh, how many back, times back you gonna kick that, how many times you, you gonna kick that field goal? Because niggas don't have sweet 16s. When the last time you went to a boy's sweet 16 party? Chris, what the fuck is going on in here, man? Chris Brown. What fucking boy has a sweet okay. 16? A Ken Sierra. A sweet 16 on MTV. I want to put that out there. <laughs> yeah. He had a sweet 16 on MTV. You definitely went to LA Reed's son's sweet 16 at 4040. I've never went to a, a boy's sweet 16. <laughs> 
the fuck are we talking about? This is Chris. You Brown. went to Tiana's. No, I did not. There was not. boys there. No, I did not. Okay, that was on Super Sweet Sixteen in two thousand seven. Chris had his Sweet Sixteen. Well, but I, to her point too of of Kim versus Ice Spice, which is maybe not a super comparable thing. Same way at a, a girl Sweet Sixteen right now. Would they want to see fucking Little Kim or Ice Spice? Yeah, we know who Little Kim is. And Chris is a little different because Kim is much. Y'all think a girl having a sweet 16 right now, she would much have, rather have Quavo than Chris Brown? I don't even think it's close. Yeah, I don't either. You think Quavo? Yes. Yes. They have oh. Travis Scott do their sweet 16. It's oh, all these fucking crazy. What's the, what song you think a 16 year old right now off Chris's last album is listening to? Well, it, fuck the last album. It's Chris Brown. You, Little girls would like Chris Brown more than they like Quavo. What are we talking about? It's Chris well, Brown. Well, I'm not going to argue about what little girls like because that's going to just be a weird combo. But I'm, yes, a, how is that a, girl, a weird combo? I think an average 16 year old girl would much rather have Quavo at her super sweet 16 than Chris Brown. Right. And that's not a shot at Chris. He's just been in the game for so fucking long. Right. My what era, they would have, the world would have shook if Chris Brown came to a super sweet 16. That's the same way that like Chris Brown's fans are older now. Like they have kids. That's a good thing. I'm not, this isn't a slight to Chris Brown. He's just older now. That's the same way that when I was growing up, like, uh, I could admire, um, people like, I could admire people like Nas and Jay-Z and be like, oh my God, they're so hot, but they were so much older. Like, yes, I know them cause my parents listen to them and stuff like that. Like I can appreciate them, but I'm not going to take Nas and Jay-Z at my birthday party over Lil Bow Wow and Lil Romeo. To, to her point, when I was 16, if a girl... No, no girl around me was having a super sweet 16. But if they were to have one, Nas or Joel Santana, not even fucking close. But why are y'all <laughs> like not why, even close? Why y'all saying why are y'all making it seem like because when I was 16, Nas was 34. Chris, like it was, it's the yeah, same, but, same age Chris is now. Yeah, but Chris, but but Chris and Quavo are like the same age. They're two Quavo's no, they're not. two years younger than Chris. It's okay, Quavo, a, not Quavo's two age. years the it's same not age. About it's not about age. But also, age. Yeah. It's, it's about, about their music and when it when yeah. they Chris Brown's it. music is bigger than Quavo. What the fuck are y'all talking about? It's been around for 20 fucking years. It doesn't bigger, matter. He's still a bigger star than Quavo. And he's only two In years the world, old. yes, I mean, we agree. You're saying Nas and Chris. But nigga, Nas is 50 years old. What are you talking about? Yeah, but no, at the time age. when I was 16, I'm saying. Small, but it's it's relevancy. It's not age is whatever. Like, the, yeah, they're two years apart in age. But Quavo's a much hotter name right now music wise relevancy wise than chris's music is especially to younger people and that's not a slight to chris it's not a slight but especially to younger people crazy. it is y'all are crazy it's okay and it's okay but y'all are crazy okay y'all are absolutely crazy if y'all think quavo's a bigger star right now or a bigger name right now than chris brown y'all are crazy there's yeah. no fucking way y'all think that and i fuck with quavo see now i started to say like i don't fuck with quavo uh, a little bit. but he's not as big <laughs> as fucking chris brown like, what are we talking about Okay, I'll even put it this way. Nas was 33 in 2006. Here go, here go mathematics, man. All right. can, you t- can you tell me, can you pull up the age difference between Kanye West and Nas? In 2006, Kanye West would have been a way bigger hit at a super sweet 16 than Nas would have. I'm sure they're like four years apart. Five years apart at most. Yeah, he was 29. Kanye was 29. In four, four year difference. Kanye West, because the moment in 06 of who he was, would have been a way bigger pull than Nas at a super sweet sweet sixteen in two thousand six. So so okay so you so, so and this is respect that we're okay. putting Chris Brown and Nas in the same okay comparison. Yeah. So so now what you're trying to say is you you think relevancy that, at the time the moment you think that so what did Quavo do musically because we're talking they're both artists recently that would make him a bigger name right now today than Chris Brown. Well, we're in a different era where names have more currency than the music they put out. I'm asking you a direct question. What the has Quavo? Era. Excuse me. The, the whole Big Migos era is still. Era. Yeah, like it's, that's it's more recent than Chris's last era. Yeah. It, it, okay. I'm confused by your question. Oh no, it's okay. Culture one, two, and three. All right. That's what's up. What was that viral? Uh, <coughs> what was that viral uh, TikTok song that Quavo and which did was a hotel lobby? What's, how does it go? Also, oh, yeah. and also being hey, relevant now off, is yeah. dating Sweetie, and I know it's broken up, but like wondering who he's dating. That shit is very relevant right now to the front row of a fashion show. <laughs> we're living, so, we just had a whole conversation we're not, about Drea. We're not like, agreeing with it. We're not agreeing Yeah, we're just explaining it. how the shit goes. Yo, listen, it's okay. Y'all are wrong, but it's okay. 
Okay. Y'all are absolutely wrong if y'all think Quavo is a bigger name or bigger draw or bigger person to have sitting in the front row than Chris Brown. Y'all are crazy. For a fashion event in 2024? Y'all yeah. Are crazy. And the crazy shit is I'm not even about. saying bigger. I'm just saying you're saying it like Chris Brown come, Quavo gotta move. If I say he gotta move, I'm just saying it ain't like that. If Chris Brown said, yo, listen, y'all want me to sit there, y'all gotta move homie down a couple seats. They would have mo- asked Quavo to move down. That's and what I'm saying. If he didn't want to move, then what? You think they're gonna remove Quavo to s- Make Chris Brown happy? I think Chris Chris would have left at that point. I don't think it's that serious. I think, but I think Chris would have left if they'd like not nah, moving. Would have left. Chris yeah, would have like, got him out, mm-hmm. and rightfully so. I'm Chris Brown. Move him, or I'm leaving. He should feel that way. I'm just telling you that it, they kind of have. If you're looking at it, the optics of the PR shit we were talking about, the currency is pretty balanced in 2024. There's no fucking way. You're talking about accolades. No. I'm talking about the the social currency. No. Okay. Not not even close. It's Chris Brown, man. That's Legend. All That's all I'm saying. Well, staying on. So, would you guys get up? <laughs> <laughs> that was my initial question. Oh yeah, no, ain't no hoe making me move for a fuck ass thing. No, nah, I would. Like I would that. order. It the depends on what the beef temple. is. It yeah. depends on how serious the a beef Shirley is. Shirley Temple, shit like that. You wouldn't order him a drink, like Ooh. when he's getting something. Like yo, I'll take a douce and you give my man's a Shirley Temple. Nah, I ain't, I ain't doing that. It's either on site or it's not. If it's not yeah. on site, like it's just not. That's that what I'm saying. If it ain't that type yeah. of beef, then I ain't thing. moving nowhere for no fucking body. Bitch. But y'all gotta, but y'all gotta move homie down the car. We not gonna sit thigh to thigh though. We ain't doing that. Nah, we ain't sitting thigh. Ain't so, sitting. so you're saying someone has to move? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Like if I'm Chris Brown and you know he probably didn't know until he sat down and they probably brought Quavo in or you know, but he ain't. I would I would assume that if he if they, he knew that he would have t- asked him to you know move him or sit him somewhere else. Or even not move Quavo, like sit me on the other end of the fucking front row or something. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody moving me. Well, fuck. <laughs> right. I, a bigger star come in the room, nigga. You got to get up. No, I'm not talking. I'm talking about as far as like not wanting to sit next to somebody I don't like. That's what I'm talking about. Like, you're yeah, not, but if you I'm don't, if gonna, you don't like a bigger, a bigger name that came in the room and they're like, yo, they're not comfortable sitting next to you. They got to move you now. Oh, of you, course. But that's not, that's not what we were. You've seen about. the way I operate in the airport. You think I'm moving? Yeah. I'm not moving. Or you'll leave. I would end up leaving if anything. I'm not yeah. moving. No one's moving me out of my place. That's, just, and that's the same as moving. Well, where everybody see that you got moved, I ain't doing that. I'm going home. No, but if it's if they know it's beef, they know why y'all moved. They had to split y'all up. <coughs> like if it's beef. If this is my People ain't mad at that. They're like, yo, they don't fuck with each other. We don't expect them to sit thigh to thigh. Like, if this is my assigned seat, I'm sitting in my assigned seat. Period. Mm, I hear that. If you uncomfortable, bitch, you can move. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you talking about. Anyway. What did you DJ Clue do? Well, we